you were right. The NSA has shut down the entire exposition center. They're using regular army to box the place up. They've got guards patrolling everywhere. I'll have to be careful. Don't want to kill any innocents. Sure you don't need any help? You stay with Teresa. I'll stay out of their way. Hold on. You found something? We're in the ancient Trine exhibit, setting up for the final phase of the operation. We've got a box of data disks here. You want to come check it out? On my way. You stay here and stand watch. Holden claims he didn't give Zing any information, but I don't believe him. Logan might just show up tonight. Yes, sir! And stay out of sight of any army grunts. Our operation here is totally black box. The last thing we need here is a jurisdiction squabble with the NSA. Hey guys, and welcome back to more Siphon Filter 2. So, back to the Expo Center. Well, we were here in the first game. So this going, this is quite a long mission actually, but it's also probably one of the better missions in the game. One of my favorites anyway. So, Leon's Intel from, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Leon's Intel from the airbase indicates Fagan hid a disk with his encryption code somewhere in the Farcom Expo Center. Morgan is leading an operation to find the disk. You will plant a C4 charge to distract his guards and take the codes from him, if needed. Use the building's ventilation system to reach your goal. The Farcom Expo Center has been shut down by the NSA, pending an investigation into Fargon's, uh, Fagan's involvement in the DC terrorist incident. U.S. Army troops are currently boxing exhibits for shipment to government warehouses. Avoid contact with these troops if possible, and if necessary, incapacitate them with your crossbow or hand taser. Yeah, so we've got a hand taser, which is, um, you know, it's okay. It's close combat, instant kill, knockout, you know the drill. But the crossbow is more interesting. So it's a range one-hit KO, which is nice. We only get five shots with it, but... There is a big butt. Big juicy dribbling butt. Um, you can't go for headshots with a crossbow. Because that will still kill people. Yeah, ask me, um, ask me how I found that out. Anyway, let's go. I do like our attire for this mission as well. Almost as dapper as a... a suit. I mean, you know, nice fancy turtleneck. Kind of feeling like Archer, almost, when he goes uh, stealth. Oh, no, that was bad. <sighs> you know what? Let's just... Let's just restart. Actually, should be able to restart at last checkpoint. Yeah, that wasn't quite what we were looking for. Uh, I'm going to be honest. You do have to be very careful around ledges because um, if you get too far to them, Logan will just auto jump and yeah, think and again. Ah, uh, look. Okay, <clears throat> it's fair to say that never, ever, ever happened in testing. But of course, we're not testing, so everything that could go did go wrong. Which is uh, the way things generally go, the Let's Players Curse and all that. And I would also like to direct your attention to the music on this level. Oh my god, the music on this level is Fan Dabby Dozy. Right, this guy's a penis. So we'll want to get rid of him as quick as we can. These guys are also dicks. There's a sniper up in that corner. Now, interesting fact about this sniper. He actually pops his head out, but every time you go to aim at him, he will disappear again. He's a knob. He's also got a friend in this corner. But it's an unarmored friend, so he's no problem. All right, let's harvest up the goodies. And duck and roll. Duck and roll to victory. Tis the siphon filter way. Now, I am getting kind of curious to the um, PlayStation 2 games. I don't know if I ever want to play them. I'm, I'm not sure. But it would be interesting to see like how far they evolved. I know. I don't know if they um, kept their quality. 
because obviously everyone remembers this a trilogy. Uh, I did play uh, the demo of the one on the PSP, which... Eh, I, it was alright, I guess. I'm trying to remember now. I uh, can't really remember it like that, but yes. I did play it. Now, if we go over here, we're going to get attacked by a guard. But... We can take his gun. This guy's pretty... Okay, don't know why my gun wasn't firing. This guy's pretty vicious. He will strip your armor away. But, you know, we can get his HK. Evening, Squire. Yeah, ma'am. Let's be having you. We could have a little bit more accuracy there, Gaben. I would appreciate it. Now, there is a dickhead that's going to stroll along here. Definitely want to headshot him because he will get here and turn around. And as soon as he turns around, he'll see you. I think that's a flak jacket. Aye, flak jacket. We don't need thy. You're done. Now we are going to be sneaky sneak, 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 sneak. There we go. Not bad, Gaben. Not bad. Uh, I always thought there was like some secrets around here or something, but there isn't. There's nothing, but that's fine. Let's go box hopping. Uh, actually, we'll grab this guy's gun. Pretty sure there's no other guys in here. No. We do remember all of these rooms. It's kind of interesting, you know, they've obviously reused this map. Um, yeah, probably to save a little bit of time. Um, but it is kind of cool as well to come back through some of these levels. They have added a lot of things to this level, these levels as well. There's more rooms and things, so it's not a complete um, one to one of the first level. Uh, well, the, in the first game, but you know, it's cool. It's nostalgic, man. And I do like how fast we are <laughs> in these vents. We're faster than a greased Scotsman. Good lord, I'm gonna break the sound barrier. Now, this is very important. We're gonna use our crossbow here. This guy, oops, this guy is gonna automatically see us if we go to the other vent. And we're gonna have a bad time. So, need to take him out with a crossbow. Uh, if you don't have any crossbow bolts for whatever reason, I'm pretty sure you can't get past that bit. You can, like, lock yourself into a failure state. Snyder hasn't reported in. Let's check it out. Damn, this is bad. Call command and tell him we have an intruder. Too much interference in here. I'll head back and put in the call. I'll stay here and look around. Yeah. <laughs> he says he's going to stay here and look around. He's just going to, you know, sit there and... Do nothing. Slack off if you... Ooh, God. Slack off if you will. Now, this guy says about going back here, but unfortunately, somebody's blocked this hallway up. I'm assuming this hallway wasn't always blocked, because otherwise, where did those guys come from? But hey, video game logic, am I right? Anyway, we have another guy slacking off down here. So we're going to deal with him. Now, obviously, this guy doesn't move. So if you go around the normal way, he is going to spot you 100% of the time. So be careful. She's hot. I don't think anyone will miss this. Do you? All right, whilst these two guys are sitting here looking at porn being nicely distracted. I don't know if this is like some sort of Metal Gear Solid uh, Easter egg here, because obviously Metal Gear Solid. Ah, oh, no, that was Metal Gear Solid 2, wasn't it? Yeah, so probably not. You could drop the porno mags to distract people. Now, if we grab this, this will unlock us some multiplayer yeah. stuff. It's another secret. The more you know. Now, this bit. Where is it? Ah, here we go. This bit has a uh, gentleman hiding behind. So we really want to get rid of this guy. Well, I don't know, actually. You probably don't have to take this guy out. I can't see how he would interfere with you, to be honest. But, you know, we might as well neutralize 
as many people as we can. Now there's another guy directly in front of us. We're gonna want for wait for him to Oh look at that. Oh, that's fine. I did think for a while that he wasn't actually gonna turn around, because usually he doesn't stop and stare. At least not in my playtesting, he just carries on walking. <laughs> I was like, oh uh oh. Gabe, you done fucked up. But nope, we're good. Alright, so this there's nothing here, is there? No. No, there's a chest full of goodies. Probably a flak jacket. Most of the chests on these somewhat stealthy missions are flak jackets. Right, um, Gabe, into the hole, please. Logan just went rat. Get some men in those vents. <laughs> just went rat. What? <laughs> what are you going on about, sir? Went rat. To be fair, these vents are very clean, very empty. You know, in real life they'd be full of dust and god knows what. Gabe, come in. I've intercepted some agency radio traffic. I'm not gonna like this. Go. In the final phase of their operation tonight, they're going to destroy the Expo Center. They're packing explosives into the ancient China exhibit. It's the structural center of the building. When it collapses, the whole place will come down. Got it. Okay. I want you and Teresa to pull back. Put at least half a mile between you and this building. But Gabe... Do it. I'll take care of the explosives. Right, now we want to get our gun ready because there we go. Interestingly enough, that guy's going to charge at us, but he throws grenades. He's a bit odd. Now this guy, this guy sucks. This guy can strip your armor away in seconds. But that's fine. <laughs> Nothing's a problem if you know it's coming. Well, you know, apart from the end of the world, of course. You know, if that was coming, then not really a lot you can do about it. But if you know when the enemies are coming, that certainly makes things somewhat easier. Okay. So we certainly remember this bit. That was the guy that was making the radio call a minute ago. He can die because it pleases me. I don't think you can you actually have to kill that guy like he's not I don't think he turns around and comes after you or anything like that but you know these enemies are here to be moided and moided them we will seems a bit wrong really to let enemies live um we completely whiffed that that was Bad. And that guy was reasonably hard to hit as well. This guy's just standing here with his mouth open, catching flies. We're just gonna, like, shoot him in the shoulder until he dies from it. <laughs> just, yeah, that must have been quite sore. It's fine. Alright. Oof. Oof. Okay, now there's one guy having a little bit of a sneak down here. Not sure where he is. Where are you? Oh, he's been alerted, hasn't he? Yep. Yeah, if we actually do that without alerting this guy, we can just, like, wait for him to walk past and take him out of a headshot. But, of course, the Let's Player gods... Oh! We're not kind to us this day. And that, ladies and gentlemen, went about as bad as it possibly can go. Not exactly happy with that, but, you know, it's fine. That guy was waiting for us as well. Not great. Anyway, let's go and get the ammo that was up here. Don't need to do this completely uh, optional but I like to collect all the goodies just because we can and I must say this uh, new renderer is running the game really nice I knew there was something wrong I'm very sensitive to frame rates I do um, envy those who don't really notice the frame rates and frame drops and things that are happy playing games at 30 FPS and stuff like that Definitely envy that kind of uh, 
because <laughs> it really bothers me. Uh, even on a game where, you know, there is no other option than to run at 30 like this, but it just feels slow and sluggy and never mind. I was kind of hoping we were past the era of 30 FPS games with the new consoles, but then I remembered their consoles. I don't think we're ever going to truly be past that. Right, zap you up the ass. I mean, I do play games at 30 FPS quite a lot, but I'd rather not. Starfield, I'm looking at you. Be ready to trip it on my signal. Okay, cool. That's the explosives planted. Um, and now, this bit's a little bit dicey. So, let's open up this vent. Come on, Gaben. Let's get through here. Very tempted on a steam deck as well. Or maybe a... Not an ROG ally. Um, don't like the idea that they cook their memory cards. Uh, but I am liking the idea of the Legion Go, maybe. I don't know, man. Right, let's go. Subject is not in this section. Yeah, this bit's a bit dicey. Now, we can headshot this dude. The guy in the corner, he's a bit more of a special case. So, we're going to drop a grenade on his ass. Just for good measure. Alright, back the fuck up, because I don't trust it. Fire in the hole, asshole. There we go. Couldn't have happened to a nicer bloke. Alright, how do we get up? Come on. There we go. Now I think this is the bit where they start throwing grenades at us. Which is jolly indecent of them. There we go. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm faster than a Greece Scotsman. <laughs> Now, you can actually uh, look at those guys, uh, but by the time you actually get out, because I have tried a couple of times to shoot them. Yeah, you can't. You really can't. Okay. Now, what we're going to want to do is grab our taser. We definitely need to pick up some more armor as well if we can, but I'm pretty sure there's some coming up later okay okay so let's zap this guy up the ass he's got a friend down there as well don't think his friend ever moves I don't think he ever moves either for that matter okay was there anything back here uh, I could have sworn there might have been an armor crate back there but never mind let's keep sneaking Leap tight, friend. Now, this room is... This room you ha has to be done in a very particular way. We're going to have to follow this dude. And we need to tase this guy in the middle. But we can't tase this guy until the other guy's way... Yeah, like that. If you do that, you're going to have a bad time. So what we need to do here, really... Let's give it a little bit more time. Wait for that guy to get quite far ahead before we go forwards. Um, yeah, wait for another cycle of him coming around. I, Cause that guy that's gone behind the white wall there, I'm not sure what he does or where. He, fuck's sake! Really? Yeah, this room does trip me out quite a lot. I'm not going to lie. Because there is a guy over there, but we can't really do anything about him, unfortunately. Because he's going to see us no matter what we do. So you have to die. But you have to die there. You probably can get the other guy if you fiddle around with some things, but nothing I've really discovered. Uh, all right. Well, we haven't taken the other guy out either. 
That's why it's important to take the other guy out. We might have to wait, uh, play the waiting game here. Son of a bitch. All right. Okay, okay. Or I guess we could just take him out with this, I suppose. Might not be the worst idea in the world. Come on. Yep. Right, he's done. Or oh, what we could do, if this is going to work, do that. Run. And up and over. There we go. Fuck you, buddy. Now, again, you can just take that guy out, but... I guess there's very little reason to do so, to be honest. All right. So, next. Oh, yeah, this is... can't see a damn thing. Command says the power went out for this section of the building. We're supposed to stand ground until they get it back online. What would knock the power out? Hell if I know. That's not great. All right. Now, let... Right, so I suppose we might as well use the last of our crossbow. Because these guys are completely blind. Uh, not that they seem to mind that they're completely blind. There we go. Remember, don't go for headshots. Go for headshots, you're going to have a bad time. Um, ooh, is there really no armor here at all? That's kind of sucky, not going to lie. Well, that's the way it is, that's the way it is. Okay, because this is kind of a bit of a pain in the ass. Logan came this way. Finish those GIs and get in here, and you're going to need your night vision goggles. Okay, now, we're going to have three men that charge in here. And they are really spicy. Two left. Has what? No, one left, and he's over here somewhere. Come on, you fuck. There we go. All right. Yeah. So they're not. I don't know. I thought they were actually harder than that. <laughs> but um, that can go rather badly, very, 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 very quickly. But we actually didn't do a bad job there. Now have to get up here because we have to go over to this vent but jumping on these is really freaking dodgy it's really dodgy because it's kind of uh, all automatically handled sometimes you just fly off and it's not great but going through this vent will end the mission <sighs> quite often as well you'll jump into this vent and Logan won't latch on that's annoying But that, my friends, is that. So, I'm going to end the video there. When we come back, well, we're not quite done with the Expo Center yet. No. So, till then, thanks for watching.